There was once a time when I had a compelling need to read every email that arrived in my inbox. Bringing that unread messages number to zero was this calming experience, and I'd sort each email into its appropriate folder as I went. That time is a very distant past. Now my inbox is full of unsolicited, impossible to unsubscribe to spam. I can't possibly read everything. I don't want to read everything. I can't even stop receiving most of it. Now I miss important emails because my inbox is so cluttered. How did we get here? Well, it's because everybody knows our personal email now. We use it everywhere for purchases, for newsletter signups, at the doctor's office, for government websites. This one unique identifier links all of our activities together. And unfortunately, this email is easily findable on the web. In countless data breaches, where it's used to tie all kinds of personal information about us together and track us all over the internet. Data brokerage is a billion dollar industry that we're all part of. But allowing people to learn so much about us by using a unique identifier for everything we do is really dangerous. This is where burner email addresses and aliases come in really handy. These allow you to have many different email addresses that you use for different purposes to help silo different parts of your life. You can even use a unique email address with every contact. Now I know what you're thinking. This is completely unmanageable. You want me to set up a new email for every person I interact with? No, you don't actually have to set up these addresses. I don't want to have to deal with multiple email accounts. No, you just have one account. Ugh. What a headache. Okay, stop. Let's get some facts straight about this. In order to use different email addresses, you don't need to set up multiple accounts or log into different accounts. You don't even need to create these email addresses in advance. They don't need to be created at all. What you talking about, Willis? In this video, we'll give you two solutions for your email woes that are super easy to implement and that will give you back more control over your inbox and digital identity. The first is catch all email addresses and the second is an alias service called Simple Login. Let's recap why we want to use different email addresses instead of giving everyone we interact with the same email. One, controlling the spam. Being able to filter out messages that have been sent to certain addresses or even shut off addresses completely is a really powerful tool for controlling how much spam or unsolicited communication enters your inbox. Two, protection from identity theft. If you have one email that ties together all aspects of your life, it's easier for someone to find out enough information about you to impersonate you and do things like open a line of credit in your name. And three, using unique email addresses makes it easier to see which sites are sharing or selling your data. If you give cutedresses.com an email address unique to them and suddenly you start getting emails to that address from political campaigns, they've probably done something dodgy with your data. So then you can just block that address or dispose of it. Using aliases and unique email addresses gives you control over which emails can actually make it to your important inbox and what information can be learnt about you online. Now there are lots of companies out there offering to filter your inboxes for you. You basically give them unfettered access to your inbox and they learn which emails you consider spam, which ones are important, and they sort them accordingly so that you don't have to deal with unwanted messages. But there's a real danger to allowing a third party access to your personal email, and I'd never recommend it, especially if your inbox contains any sensitive or personal communication. Then there are burner email services that give you a temporary address. I don't like these solutions because if you ever need access to this address in future, you might be in trouble. There's also a chance that someone else might be assigned that address in future. And you don't want someone else to take control of a digital identity once associated with you. Next, there are also some email alias services that store emails for you. A couple of reasons why you would want to avoid this. First, it's annoying to have to log into a different account to see these emails. There's more chance that you'll use these aliases and see important emails if they're in your primary account. Second, unless that service is taking great care with the privacy of these emails, storing them with zero access encryption, for example, then you don't want them keeping a copy. Finally, there's sub addressing. It's a trick that Gmail popularized, where you can add a plus sign to your normal email address to create infinite sub addresses. For example, you might have the address, this is my email at gmail.com. Instead of giving Amazon that address, you could give them, this is my email plus Amazon at gmail.com. 
any email that is sent to an address with a plus sign will just go straight to your normal inbox and you can create infinite addresses this way. But there are a couple of problems with this. First, the plus trick is well known at this stage and many websites won't allow email addresses that contain a plus sign. It's pretty outrageous because these companies are effectively saying to you, I'm sorry, we don't want you to track what we do with your email address. How rude. Second, it's easy enough to remove the plus part to reveal your personal email address. This is what people do in dark web data breach searches, so they're still able to correlate all your activities and accounts. Using this sub-addressing tool for your personal address doesn't help your privacy. Now let's dive into the tools that we do recommend, starting with using custom domain email. This is where instead of using something like at gmail.com or at protonmail.com for your email, you're using a domain that you own. You can set up email to be receivable at that domain. Not only is this more professional, but it also gives you far greater control over your email account. You can choose to host this email with any email provider. And if an email provider ever kicks you off their service, as long as you own that domain, Domain, you can just switch your email hosting to another provider in a matter of seconds and you'll never lose access to these important addresses where people know to contact you. Most people just buy email hosting through their web registrar, but we have a video that teaches you how to host your custom domain email with ProtonMail instead. The reason we encourage this is because ProtonMail is far better for privacy. You can also use other privacy preserving email hosting services like Tutanota. If you haven't already, watch that video and see set up a custom domain email. During the process, you'll set up something called a catch-all email address. Setting a catch-all allows you to essentially catch all emails sent to your domain, regardless of whether the specific email address it was sent to actually exists. For example, let's say you own the domain thisismydomain.com. You can create an email address general at thisismydomain.com. Then you go to settings, select catch-all, and choose general at thisismydomain.com as your catch-all address. Now, as long as as an email is sent to an address that ends with at thisismydomain.com, you will receive that email. If it's to an address that you haven't created, the email will still arrive and instead go to your catch all folder, which in this case is general at thisismydomain.com. So if someone misspells general, you'll still get the email. If they send it to Naomi at thisismydomain.com, you'll still get it. If they send it to cute cats or free Assange or anything at all, at thisismydomain.com, you're still going to receive that email. This means that you can hand out unique email addresses on the fly without having to create any of them in advance. If the doctor's office asks for your email, you can give them drspock at thisismydomain.com and know that you'll receive those emails. Previously, once your one personal email was leaked to spammers and scammers, you'd forever after have to play a game of whack-a-mole to block each new spammer targeting your single address. But now, let's say you gave Betty's Flowers a unique address and suddenly you start getting a bunch of spam to that address. You can just direct emails to that address straight to the trash folder, effectively shutting it off, and all the rest of your addresses remain fine. You can also receive emails to all different addresses and domains from within your one ProtonMail account, which makes things super easy to manage. You can keep them all organized by creating filters for different addresses as they come in. One thing to keep in mind with using catch-alls is the privacy aspect. If all your email addresses end with at this is my domain, Com, this will allow these addresses to all be tied back to you. So I actually have several different domains, some of which aren't associated at all with my real identity, and I've set catch-all addresses for all of them. The downside to catch-alls is that they're receiving only addresses, so you can receive emails to them, but you can't send emails from them. This is going to be fine for most purposes. Usually these addresses are just for account logins or for receiving things, and you won't ever need to send mail from them anyway. If you do need to send an email, email from a specific address, you can always create that address after the fact. Or another option, if you want unique addresses that you can send mail from, is to use an email alias service, like Simple Login. This is the second tool that we're going to focus on in this video. We first learned about Simple Login from privacy expert Michael Basil, and then recently ProtonMail purchased Simple Login, so that's when we decided to check them out. Simple Login is an email alias solution, basically a way to mask your real email address. It works like an email for forwarding service. You give someone an alias address instead of your real address and any email to that alias will be directly forwarded to your real inbox. Unlike other alias services that just give you access to temporary addresses, Simple Login gives you aliases that are permanent. 
There are free and paid tiers, and even if you stop paying, you get to keep all the existing aliases. There are a couple of reasons why you might want to use simple login instead of the catch-all emails we already spoke about. First, as mentioned, simple login allows you to both receive emails at your alias address and also send replies from your alias using what's called a reverse alias. So if someone sends an email to my simple login alias, simple login forwards it to my inbox. Then from inside my inbox, I reply from my regular email using the reply button as usual. But instead of this email going straight to the recipient, it gets routed back through simple login and they remove all information about my personal email address and replace that address with my alias. No extra steps are required of me and my personal email stays invisible to the original sender. Another reason why you might want to use simple login instead of the catch-all emails is to further obfuscate yourself. All of my domains are registered to me and there are a limited number that I own, which means that there are multiple services that I associate with each domain. If I want to use an address that hasn't been associated with any other service I've used, I can instead use simple login, where the domains aren't mine but shared domains domains that all simple login account holders use. The upside is that sharing a common pool of alias domains creates more obfuscation of your identity. A possible downside though is that email alias domains are sometimes more likely to be flagged and blocked by certain services as not being legitimate addresses. So keep that in mind. To use simple login, you create an account and set your personal email address where your mail will be forwarded. Then each time you want a new alias, click either random alias or new custom alias and choose the domain that you want it at. It's that simple. You can also set a catch-all email for simple login addresses, which allows you to create any alias on the fly without having to generate that specific address in advance, and also gives you a degree of separation that you don't necessarily get from a domain you own. Simple login is fully open source, so anyone can freely inspect the code. This is great to know that there's a wide community that can vet the code if wanted. There are no ads or trackers involved, and simple login doesn't store the emails for you. They redirect them straight to your email box and they don't keep a copy. This is better for privacy, but it's also convenient because it means that you never have to log into another account to check your email. They also say that they will never sell your personal info to third parties, and they take care to minimize the data that they collect. I like to use simple login for throwaway accounts, like restaurant reservations, newsletters, certain online purchases. If I know that I'm only gonna use this email once, but that they're likely gonna keep sending me spam in the future long after my use of that address has ended, I opt for simple login because it allows me to easily shut off an address. Is my flower delivery finished? I can just close that address. Just go to aliases and click disable. A very effective spam control measure. As mentioned, there are free and paid tiers. And if you have a ProtonMail premium account, you automatically get a premium simple login account too. But if you don't wanna pay for a subscription, you can also self-host the code yourself. It's all publicly available. If you choose this route, it's usually a good gesture to donate to the open source project to thank them for their efforts. Both creating a catch-all email address for a domain that you own and using simple login aliases are great ways to use unique email addresses for everyone you interact with. Every email you receive is easily accessible within one account, and it gives you granular control over who is allowed to reach your inbox. It can be your new secret weapon when it comes to email hygiene and digital privacy. As always, this wasn't a sponsored video. Our channel is actually funded entirely through community donations. If you found this video helpful, consider visiting nbtv.media slash support. This allows us to keep creating helpful videos to teach you how to have more control over your digital life. Also, just liking, sharing, commenting on, and subscribing to our channel all really helps us out too. Thank you so much for watching.